Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and today let's take a look at the Marvel Legends series Ravager Thor from Thor Love and Thunder, which is actually a pretty good movie. I really like this one. It's definitely not the best Thor movie because I still didn't have Thor Ragnarok, but it's not as bad as Thor The Dark World, so it's not the best Thor movie, but it's not the worst. For the packaging, it's your typical Marvel Legends series packaging, nothing interesting going on here other than the fact it's themed to Thor Love and Thunder, with the side showing some really cool art of Thor as well as the back with a brief description of the movie? It doesn't describe the character. Thor wields the mighty Stormbreaker against a terrifying new foe. That's it. And then on the bottom it shows the other characters in the wave and some legal stuff and that's about it. So let's take a look at the figure. And here is Thor out of the packaging, and I have to say, this is the best Marvel Legends Thor we ever got. But also, this is my first Thor I've ever had, so my opinion doesn't really matter here. This is definitely, like, my favorite Thor design ever. It's just visually so unique from the rest of the Thor costumes, which all look the same. But taking a look at accessories, he does come with the Mighty Stormbreaker. If this would focus for me. The Mighty Stormbreaker, which is pretty basic. It's only really silver and brown, but it looks nice, and it can fit in his hand since this is made out of flexible material and it looks great i've taken so many photos with him wielding stormbreaker and it just looks so good and also he comes with korg's arm now taking a look at this figure this figure looks fantastic i've already talked about how much i love this design and i think hasbro did a great job turning it into a six inch action figure now this store is bigger than usual marvel legends i have with me the marvel legends multiverse of madness uh doctor strange which which I did review on the channel, and as you can see, stand up, dang it. And putting them side by side, you can see that Thor is taller than Doctor Strange, but not a lot, but it's enough to where it's pretty noticeable. But this figure looks fantastic. The sculpt is really good. It's pretty basic, but they did a great job recreating this look from the movie. The paint is also pretty good. There's not a lot on here. My favorite part is definitely the shirt design. This looks so good. And his face also looks really good. It looks just like Chris. Hemsworth and his hair also looks pretty good. There's some nice small paint details throughout the figure, especially on the jacket. And for articulation, the head can swivel side to side. You can get it all the way around, even though his hair kind of limits it. You can get it all the way around. Let's go! But the head can swivel side to side as well as look up about that far and down about that far. The hair limits the articulation. There is a ab crunch as well as an arch. It doesn't go that far due to the jacket. The arms can move all the way around and can go out about that far. Swivel, double bend at the elbow, pinless joints, and the hands can swivel side to side as well as move up and down. There's a swivel at the lower part of the torso. The legs can go forward about that far and back not at all, and can go out about that far. There's a swivel up at the top, a double bend at the knee, pinless joints, and the boots can go forward about that far, back about that far, and can swivel side to side. Now let's do some size comparisons. Oops, shit. So overall, I think this is a fantastic figure, and this has to be one of my favorite figures Marvel Legends has ever made. This figure is so good, and I highly recommend you pick it up if you ever see it, because it's been so hard for me to find this figure. So if you find it, I highly recommend you pick it up. 